Canadian workers. Bruce Gray, Owen Sound. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I've always took pride in my math. And it's always been pretty good, but I'll tell you, I've been racking my brain trying to think of how is possible at all for someone to rack up more than $120,000 in moving expenses to move down the 401 from Toronto to Ottawa, even if the Prime Minister's office moved their staff by dog sled and pack mule. And, and if I use liberal mathematics, I still can't come up with a $126,000 cost. Will the Prime Minister please stand up and explain to this House why it costs so much to move one of his staff uh, 450 kilometers down the floor. Honourable Government House Leader. Thank you for the question, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as I've said in this House time and time again, that this relocation policy has been in place since the 1970s. And this policy was last updated under the previous government. We've also heard how Stephen Harper's office, when he was Prime Minister, approved over $300,000 in relocation expenses, included one for $93,000. Our government recognizes that more can be done, and that's why our Prime Minister has asked the Treasury Board to revisit the relocation policy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Bruce Gray, Owen Sound. Well, Mr. Speaker, uh, if I had any hair with an answer like that, I'd pull the rest of it out. <laughs> but if I'd have known that a U-Haul was this expensive, Mr. Speaker, I would offer to take a load of stuff for Jerry and my Ford F-150. <laughs> now, the fact is, Mr. Speaker, this is classical liberal entitlement. The government keeps repeating that these were policies that have been in place for years. But I can tell you that is true. This government, or no government, before this government has ever abused this policy. Will, will the Prime Minister come clean and admit that the million dollar move was way out of line? Thank you for the question, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, so all members in this House have heard what I have to say, and yes, I've repeated it a several times so that we can remember that the former Prime Minister Stephen Harper's office also approved $300,000 in relocation expenses, including one of 93000 for a single individual. But more importantly, why don't we share what Guy Jorner, former Chief of Staff to Conservative Prime Minister Stephen Harper, had to say. He said, the federal relocation program, which applies to hundreds of moves annually, including moves by employees of government, military and RCMP, exists for a very good reason. Our government is committed to reviewing the policy. The member for 